Microsoft Publisher has a lot of built-in templates within the program. You'll notice when you first open up Publisher, in addition to the regular blank sheets that you get at the top, you're going to see a number of different template options below. You'll see brochures, calendars, labels, newsletters. These are all templates that already have content on them, and what you can do is modify the content to fit your needs, but the design is already set up for you. So in this example, what we're going to do is take a flyer that's already been created and replace it with our own content. So if you scroll down to the area that says More Templates and you click on Flyers, you're going to see a number of different flyers that are available to you. And you can scroll down and they have them divided by topics, by events, marketing, real estate, and you can continue to, to scroll down and then they'll bring you to the blank section over here. We're going to look in the event section and just so you get a better idea there are more event options available if you click on the folder that says all events and the one that I'm going to choose to work with I think will be this painting workshop flyer. If you click on any of the templates you'll see in the right hand side you'll get a better idea of what it's going to look like and I'm going to work with this one because I like the water and I'm just going to change the content of the inside. So I'm going to click download and you'll see the flyer has opened up. Now this flyer if we look at the ruler at the top is an eight, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and you'll notice if we click on all the little individual components to here this is clip art and we also have a border so there are several different sections and then we can see we have a photo and we have a text box and we have another text box. So this is something that I could have created from scratch but since we have a template I'm just going to delete the content and replace it with my own. So let's say for instance I want to make a flyer advertising open house that's coming up. So all I'm going to do is type inside the text boxes put the dates and you can highlight any of the text and go up to the home section, the home tab and you can change your font size, you can change your font style change your font color to make it look your own we can also replace the photo with an image so I'm going to go over here to insert clip art and you can type in again whatever it is that you're looking for now if you want to replace a picture with a photo that's already in your template make sure that it's highlighted so I've clicked on it once and if I click the picture that I want to replace it with you'll see the picture will go automatically in there now when you replace it with a picture you're going to get automatically get these cropping tools which is going to cut off our clip art a little bit so I'm going to drag it up so that my school bus is not cut off and some other things you can do with this template if you wanted to change maybe the border that's included on here you may want to change the color you may want to choose the style anything that you want to change if you click on it you'll get some other options over here at the top and I have my drawing tools so if I click on that I might want to fill it with a different color and you'll notice again if I hover on the colors in my palette I get a preview of it so you might want to choose a different color and then you can also change or you can even replace these are all individual clip art pictures you can replace this these images with clip art of your own some other things you can do with this if you want to make this a little bit fancier is when you click on clip art you get that little green circle at the top that will allow you to rotate your images and you can do the same thing with anything that's over here and you can adjust these little handprints and move things you can also adjust your clip art text boxes so let's say for instance we want to maybe tilt this you'll notice we lost a little bit of the text in here and that's because this text box 
is formatted so that all the text appears in the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this by right clicking and we're going to go to best fit and that will move our text up so our text looks a little bit kind of funky and slanted. This is just one option so in this particular week what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of the templates of a flyer doesn't have to be the one that I picked and you're going to adjust the text and create your own flyer for something that you might post in your own classroom so once you have finished your flyer you've adjusted the text you've changed the color schemes you've added your own clip art you're going to save it and you're also going to submit this online as well if you need to review how to do insert any of the text boxes you may want to add additional text boxes or additional clip art you can review some of the other video tutorials in the previous weeks